Well, here we are at Mullingar Greyhound Stadium in front of a packed stadium. The atmosphere is building. Of course, it's the 2010 Game Feeds Irish Cesarevich. The final is almost upon us, and the Greyhounds are about to parade. Trap one, we've got the local challenger, Ruff Rabino, a strong stayer from the Francie Murray Kennel. This one's owned by Howard Wallace in Scotland, a son of Crash and Char Quest. In two, wearing the blue coat, we've got Full of Beans, the first of the two Peter Cronin runners. This one's owned by Liam Walsh in third, and trained by Peter Cronin. In three, we've Accordello, owned by Rodney Harper in Dublin and trained by Lar Kinsella. It's won 16 out of 48 races and has accumulated €59,000 in prize money. In trap four, the second of the Cronin Challengers, owned by the Slip Syndicate of Ferry Bank in Waterford and trained by Peter Cronin, a winner of five from 14. It's also a litter brother of the two dog full of beans. In five, Rope Walk Wonder for the Christos Balbriggan Syndicate in Dublin and trained by Brian McCann. It's likely race only won four from 11, a son of Droopy's Vieri and Flamingo Girl, a certain lively outsider here. It's the early pacer in the race. In six and the stripes out wide, we got definite opinion. Owned by Fanula Richardson and Dune and trained by Pat Gilfoyle, this one has to overcome as an unfavourable wide pitch. It's a dead railer, is definite opinion. It's won 11 from 25, a son of Sir Florian and Joseva, and the current joint favourite with the three-dog Accordello at 5-4. to four. Here up behind traps, and no way they go. Three Accordello, the first to go in the centre. Six definite opinion away, well on the outside. There's a bit of argy bargy in the centre, and Patrick Hootie's fallen. It's six definite opinion. That turns the first couple of corners with a three length advantage. Five ro foot rope walk, wonder, bang there in second. One rough Rabino, the stayer in the back sits third, but about seven off the speed. Up front, definite opinion for Fanula Richardson and Pat Gilfoyle has a decent four length advantage at the car park turn. Five rope walk, wonder, weakens out of it there, back into fourth, as two move second, full of beans on the inside but definite opinion undefeated in the stakes absolutely cruises home definite opinion your clear and convincing winner two a second rope full of beans back in third one rough rabino the time a very impressive 33 22. Absolutely delighted, Graham. Thrilled to pieces with him. He's, he's a super dog and he really showed it there tonight, you know. I mean, everything got thrown at him. He, he won from five, from one, from three, from six. He's a super, super little dog, you know. It's a privilege to, a privilege to have him. He won't over race him next year. I said that he loves it here so much. I said it'd be a pity, you know, not bring him back again next year if he was fitting well. We'd only love to, you know. So, And we would compliment Mullingar, the management and staff, for the fantastic um, stake they put together. The crowds were super every night. Standard of racing was super. And compliment and thanks to the sponsor as well. Really, really thrilled with it now, it's had a great stake, 72 entry, a lot of patrons uh, patronise the, sta the stake and I'm delighted with the winner here, Pat, a good old customer of ours there and uh, delighted to see the win, good dog, uh, had, had the draw against him and, and uh, overcame it and ran very, very well and I'm sure he will re represent the stake going forward during the year as well.